This is the Lordsburg KOA in Lordsburg, New Mexico. This is pretty much all there is to show about this place. And then there's really not much to do in town. There are three Walmarts. Each of them is an hour away from this campsite. That tells you how built up and popular the area is. So this is gonna be a short video, but uh, definitely had to get moving down the road and this was a good place to stop between Alamogordo and Quartzsite. Love this mailbox stand. That's pretty slick. I was even able to get some 2 meter AM on this little teeny tiny antenna right here. That's it. So they called for 55 mile an hour winds. So we got a hotel room and we got some food on the road. Nice little uh, barbecue truck stop here. So I'm going to enjoy this and stay out of the wind and Hope my trailer's still there tomorrow morning. So one of the things you have to worry about is when the weather gets cold. And that is something that we finally ran into out here in New Mexico area is temperatures below freezing. So the number one thing you need to do is disconnect your water hose so that it doesn't freeze at all. And the best way to do that is to fill up your onboard water tank. With the onboard water tank filled up, you can disconnect your water hose and not have to worry about that part freezing up. But then what do you do with everything else that's inside? First off, run your heater because you wanna stay warm. And then the next thing that we do is we drain all of our faucets back into the holding tank down below. In order to do that, turn off the water pump and open up all of the faucets inside. So that I'm not wasting all the water that I brought with me, what I do is I fill up a teapot and then we have that to flush the toilet in the middle of the night if we ever have to get up and use the bathroom for any reason. We have an emergency gallon of water or so there. We have water in case the dog needs it. And finally, after we use up all that, we have enough left to make coffee in the morning. Having your water lines drained helps stop them from freezing up. We never had a problem with our water pump. And when we left to go to the hotel for that day, we shut everything off, turned off the propane, turned off the heat. And when we got back, our holding tank was actually frozen. So we still had some water left over and we're able to survive all of that. Once the weather warmed up and the holding tank thawed out, we had water again, no problems. Just to be on the safe side, when I went to the hotel for the big windy day, I did open up the low point drains and drain out that area as well. This hose here is an example of how these things can freeze up. This is not ours. This one actually belongs to the RV park that we're staying in. Just a couple of quick tips for helping you stay warm and hydrated in very cold weather. Another one of the weird things about being out here in the middle of nowhere is the cell service. Phone calls and text messages were fine, but this was very weird. 0 0.06 down and 25 up. That's pretty strange. So pretty unusable for internet connectivity. Make sure you bring something else with you like Starlink or maybe another provider might be better than T-Mobile. Well, that's all there is to say about Lordsburg, New Mexico, because really that's all there is in this area. We're headed over to Benson. One more stop before we make it to Quartzsite and just wanted to share with you the update along the road. We're going to keep on living and doing what we do best and staying out of trouble. Well, not staying out of trouble. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you can see our updates as we keep moving across the country. And check out this video over here next.